On this episode of Picker Road, we're in the Las Vegas Arts District and we just finished loading up some new items in the Picker Road Boutique at Antique Alley. You know, I think it's time we go on an adventure. I think so. Where are we going to go? Where do you think the hand is going to take I'm us? I'm so excited. Let's see. And here we are in Tokyo. We are at the world famous Kaminaramon Gate. And isn't this place incredible? It's over 1,100 years old. It's fantastic. And afterwards, we're going to go right through the gate and we're going to the Asakusa Nakimisa Market. Ooh. We're so excited. We're going to take you right along for this adventure. We're going to see all the different stalls and all the different vendors. And we have had amazing food along the way and we are going to find much more. All week long we have been here in Japan filming our animal show and we are going to show you tons of clips from all the different places we have visited. But this is super special today because now we are going to start picking for Picker Road. We are really, really excited. So, domo arigato for joining the journey. I'm Harleen, and along with my husband Gary and our son Will, we are a family of pickers. We travel the country finding treasures to bring to you. Along the way we have great adventures. Come along with us. Join the journey on Picker Road. Our journey begins at Los Angeles International Airport, LAX. I love going to airports. There's something really magical about traveling off to some faraway place. It's so much fun. We've got our signature orange suitcases that we like to cover in stickers from wherever we go. It's hard to believe we've only had these for a little over a year and they're already starting to fill up. Let's go. Passports at the ready. We're gonna check our bags and get through security. Now that we're at the terminal, let's toast to a wonderful trip and enjoy some pre-flight treats like these crab rangoons and some fresh dim sum. We're getting into the Japanese spirit. Yum. Now we are at our gate. Looks like the flight is on time. We are very excited. Of course, you just can't stop a picker. They have the in-flight shopping magazine with luxury goods and all sorts of little things that you can order from the air. A couple of hours into the flight, they serve their first meal. Now, Singapore Airlines is world famous for having some of the best service and food. And I'll tell you, having flown as much as I have, this food was incredible. We board a high-speed rail to get to our hotel in downtown Tokyo, and I'll tell you, it was a pretty long day, so as soon as we arrived, we crashed for the night. Now, as you've heard us say, we were in Japan to film our show involving animals, so in the course of our first week there, we got to see lots of amazing cats, dogs, koi fish, and so much more. Tokyo is an incredible metropolitan city. We're in the equivalent of Times Square, and it is just magnificent. There is so much to look at here, including Godzilla. At the top of every hour, flames shoot out of his mouth. We also fell in love with this cat. This is a three-dimensional billboard, so if you look at it from the right angle, it looks as though the cat is coming out at you. <laughs> Isn't he great? He's so funny. The food in Japan was incredible. We had so much amazing noodles and tempura. We love tempura. Look at all of this. They've got tempura shrimp and tempura vegetables. 
Well, it's been an amazing first couple of days here in Tokyo. It's been all work, but we've been able to explore the city while we were working and see some amazing sights. I am so looking forward to coming back here in a few days and actually getting some picking going and seeing even more. You can feel the history of this place. The hotel that we're staying in has a garden that is over 400 years old and once belonged to a samurai. Can you imagine? absolutely incredible. The koi fish in there are huge, and we learned that some of the koi fish are worth, and I'm not joking, millions of dollars. A koi fish that is over a meter long recently sold for $1.5 million. Can you believe that? That's incredible. Well, we are taking the bullet train to Kyoto next, and we are really excited for that. So stay tuned. The bullet train is a marvel of modern engineering. It is something to behold. You only have to arrive a few minutes early because everything here runs on clockwork. It leaves the second it says it's going to leave. So we got there, we got on board, we got our seats, and the next thing you know, we are going 186 miles per hour. That is fast. Wow, when it got to full speed, looking out the window, the world was just zipping by. It was incredible. We arrived in Kyoto to find it a lot more rural than Tokyo. Here, there were some gorgeous temples. They were hundreds of years old and the architecture on them was spectacular. We were fortunate that we were able to visit during cherry blossom season. So everywhere you turned, you saw these beautiful pink cherry blossoms on the trees. One of the highlights for us was visiting Nara Park, which is home to the famous sacred silka deer. The deer here have coexisted with humans for hundreds of years. And what happens is people bring crackers to the park and the deer bow their head asking for a cracker. I got a chance to do it myself. And sure enough, I bow to the deer, the deer bows to me and he gets a cracker. Now we were still filming, but we had a couple of quick moments in Kyoto to enjoy some impromptu picking. Let's take a look. Here we are in beautiful, beautiful Kyoto. We're in the old section and there's a lovely little store here. Uh, we're just gonna take a quick look through and then we're going to a fan shop. Come on, let's go. Oh, oh how beautiful, pretty colors. After all, it is springtime in Japan. The cherry blossoms are so beautiful. I know. I want to go over here and look at the jewelry. <sighs> look at these. I always find hair clips, but look at that beautiful butterfly. So pretty. I wonder how much that is. What does it say, Will? It says... Other side, I think. Okay. I can't tell. May I? Yes. Is it 1,100 yen? It is 1,200 yen, 1200 so that would yen. probably be about $7.50. Oh, that's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I think we're gonna have to get that. Look how gorgeous that is. Really pretty. What else? Look at these earrings. Oh, look at these. Oh, they are so beautiful. The clear posts. Oh, so pretty. Look at all these lovelies. So nice. Let's look around here. Ooh. Look at these. So beautiful. Now these aren't antiques or mid-century modern, but they're pretty. And we found... He's a hoot. Our first hoot. Look how tiny that is. And it's got a little drawstring. Cool, huh? Mm-hmm. All right. Well, this is a really sweet little store. Let's play for our butterfly and go to the fan shop. Look at this amazing fan shop here in Kyoto. And everywhere you see the cherry blossoms. Absolutely amazing. Shall we go in and take a look? Let's do it. Uh, look how lovely. Look how delicate. They're moving almost like butterfly wings. Mm -hmm. So pretty. Let's see what the prices are. Look at this one. This one is 3,300 yen. 
These, these are 38. They're so beautiful. Look at the unusual shape of these. Mm -hmm. Look at that blue one. Isn't that pretty? Yeah, it is. That's really beautiful. So lovely. Look at these. These are so cool. You look at the side and you can't see an image, but then when you get to the front, oh, it's a tiger. It's a tiger. Or is it a leopard? It's a tiger. And that's 8,800 yen. So how much is that? That's so cool. I would imagine that's um, uh, about is it, is it, is it, 50 uh, or 60 dollars. Something along those lines. Look at the beautiful colors on these. Can you get in close? Mm -hmm. Look at those gorgeous colors. Absolutely stunning. So and look great. at Mount Fuji oh, down yes. here. We saw it from the bullet train this morning. We did. Absolutely beautiful. Look at this amazing store. I think they sell kimonos. Look at this fabric. Holy moly. That's detailed. It's gorgeous. Look at that. And this, I love this. Look at that fabric. Isn't that something? Just absolutely stunning. Look at them all in there lined up. Let's look at the colors. These are all on sale. These are like jackets. Oh, so pretty, beautifully lined too. Look at that. Look at that one with seams on it. How pretty is that? Look at these colors. Oh, I like this one. Look at that. So beautiful. Absolutely stunning colors. My only fragrance. This is a perfume shop that mixes your own fragrance. How special is that? Oh, that's so pretty. Wow, you can mix it. Oh my goodness. It smells, if only you guys could smell this. It smells amazing in here. And look how you can go in and test and have your fragrance actually mixed. How special is that? That's very cool. And like everywhere, in Kyoto right now. There's little touches of cherry blossoms. We visited a traditional family-run Japanese restaurant where we got to try some authentic Japanese beer. It was fantastic. Cheers! And this is where we got some of the best sushi of the entire trip. Look at that. Yum! After an amazing time in the south, we took the bullet train back to Tokyo where we got the most spectacular view of Mount Fuji passing by. Look at the clouds around it and the snow up there. It was stunning. After a wonderful week of filming the animal show, we were officially wrapped, so we celebrated by having a little party at Trader Vic's of Tokyo. As you know, we love tiki bars and Trader Vic's is one of the original one. This location has been in Tokyo since 1972 and it is so much fun. I ordered a Singapore Symphony, which comes in a carved out pineapple and it was delicious. Here's to an incredible week of filming. Now it's time for some picking. And here we are where we started. We are at the Asakusa Marketplace. Isn't this market incredible? And we're here really right is. when the cherry blossoms are in season. Look at that. Isn't they that just wonderful? bloomed and it's gorgeous. What is that delicious smell? Oh, everything smells good here. Look at the kimono. Oh my goodness. That's beautiful. Look so at the colors. much to look at. Now they're saying it's 8,000. So six, eight, six, eight. Um, that would be about $60, I think? Well, uh, about, a little bit under, because it's about 1,000 uh, yen is about six fifty. dollars I think $6. so. And 50 cents, yeah. just about. So look at all the different accoutrements of, of a kimono. I like the koi fish. Yes, I do too. Then we're not being koi about it. Not at all. There is so much to look at in this marketplace. So many fun little treasures that people can take home. Let's keep looking. Look at this, Mom. This gallery has been here for over 150 years. Established 1870. My goodness. Oh, these Look are beautiful. Look at these fans. Ah. Look at the koi fish fan. Isn't that beautiful? Oh, that's fantastic. 
Love that. We saw those incredible giant koi at the new Otani garden, which belonged to a samurai 400 years ago. I know. Those koi were amazing. Of course, there's that famous wave print. Oh, yes. Very famous print. How beautiful. And look at these. These are wood block printed by hand. Oh, my goodness. So, so nice. Fantastic. Really nice. Look at that. That's really beautiful. Mm hmm. All right. I love the Japanese dolls with the hands moving and everything. Aren't they just amazing? I know. Look at the cats up there. Oh, the cats. They represent good luck also. They do, absolutely. And we learned along the way that there's a distinct difference between these cats and Hello Kitty, which is, of course, a huge deal here in Japan. Now, look at the Hello Kitties over here. Right. You see how they don't have mouths? Yes. That's so that Hello Kitty can represent all different kinds of emotions, whereas these cats are all happy. You see, they are just eternally happy. I see. I like this one. Look at him. Oh, isn't he precious? Isn't that fun? How much is he? It's on the bottom, I think. Um, I don't see a price on this one. Oh, I think it's... 1400 yen uh, something along those lines so cute that's great very very sweet oh now we're in a bake shop and these look absolutely delicious look at all of these choices here so for example this one is it's a baked good with a sweet potato paste inside that's these little guys mm. and then, then this one oh sweet bean paste Yes. But you know what looks really good to me? This one Come over here, here behind. Yeah, look at this. Look at this. Sakura pie with cherry bean, bean jam, jam inside. Oh, we have oh, to. Oh, definitely. We have to try one of those. Let's do it. Let's do it. Oh, look at this. We're going to try it. Whoa. Let's see. It's a cherry paste treat. Open it up, Gary. We're going to each try a bite. We're going to see what it tastes like. Mm. Look at that. Look at that. All right, Gary. You first. Gary, go ahead, take a bite. You first. He's adventurous, you guys. Ooh. Look at that. Let's try it. That's delicious. It's, it's familiar, but I can't put my finger on it. It's cherry. Will, your turn. Careful, there's a little piece of paper Yum. there. Yeah, do not eat that part. <laughs> Not mm. good. Mm. Yeah, that's really good. This is some absolutely amazing ice cream. This company has been here for a very, very long time. And several days ago, we had some. You had the sweet potato ice cream. I did. Look at these. These are very beautiful crafted chopsticks. Oh, I love the chopstick holders. Look at all the Isn't animals. Cute? So sweet. That's look so at hard. them. All these different chopstick holders. These almost look like Italian millefiori. But look at these. Aren't they beautiful? Look how different each one is. Look at the color of blue on that one. Mm -hmm. So, so pretty. Oh, I like these. Look at those. Oh, those are. Gorgeous. Those are pretty. Look really how these pretty. sparkle here. I know. Very beautiful. Are you a fan? I am a big fan. Look at these gorgeous fans in here. Look at all the colors on these. I know. Very, Hello. very beautiful. Oh, this is beautiful with the gold on it. Uh huh. Very, very nice. So many different colors. Different sizes, too. Mm -hmm. Oh, look at the mouse. Isn't that cute? Very nice. Look at all these stuffed animals. They've seen they're, things. They're fantastic. Oh, what, the Shiba Inu. There they are. What exactly are they? They're just... just like I shelf sitters. I wonder if this is like the equivalent of Stife for them or something. I don't know. Yeah. They're so oh, precious. Look at the rabbits. I like the cats. This they one's asleep. Hysterical. Oh, look at him. He is absolutely fabulous. I love him. 
750 or 1,700? 1,750 yen. But look at him. Isn't he fabulous? He's seen things. I think he has to come home with us. He's coming home. Because most cats are samurai already, right? Yes, exactly. I absolutely love the cherry blossoms, and they have them lining each of the stalls in the marketplace. It's such a nice touch. Look at these masks over here, Mom. Aren't those incredible? They are. Let's take a look at these. They have them in all sorts of sizes. They do. Uh -oh. Let's see what we have in here. Oh wow, look at these. Now look oh. at the look at the middle samurai helmet there. Yes. If that looks familiar to you, George Lucas based Darth Vader off of a samurai um, outfit that he saw in a museum. Isn't that something? So Star Wars has a very vibrant history involving the samurai. In fact, a lot of the plot elements of the original Star Wars film, A New uh -huh. Hope, is based on Akura Kurosawa's film, The Hidden Fortress. Look at that, Ooh, the rabbit. I know. Oh, that is quite amazing. Oh my goodness. And then the dog up there with the hat. I know. These are something else. They really are. Let me, let's look over here. Look at these. Oh, and as you get back, there's even more interesting ones. Look at that one there, that dog mm -hmm. or wolf. I'm not sure what it would be. Uh-oh. What do you see? You see what I see? No. They're all a hoot. Where? Look behind you. Oh, those are great. Oh my goodness, look at all of this. It's so beautiful. Okay, so it's strawberry skewers. Which one are you getting? Um, look at these up here. Um, they're white strawberry... Daifuku? Daifuku. Ooh, look I see one with custard. Wood. Where do you see custard? Oh, the custard one looks good. Powdered green tea. So should we get one chocolate and one custard? Sure, that and sounds we'll, good to me. And we'll split them up? Absolutely. All right, thank you. And Here we go. Here we go. Oh, look at those. Thank you so much. Thank those you. Are beautiful. Now, we're standing here right outside of the shop because in Japan, it's not polite to eat while you walk. So we have to stand here and eat these now. So let's have Gary start her out. So this is the custard one. This is a custard. Oh, it's very soft. It is very soft. Very I'm interesting. Not quite sure where to start here. Just, just there. Just whatever you Watch your you strawberry. Do. Watch your strawberry. There you go. Oh, How wow. is it? Is it delicious? Wow. That is really good. Wow. Your turn. Mm. Oh, you didn't get any of the custard though. Try the custard. Again, there's something really familiar about it. Can you hold this chocolate, please? Oh, and William. I will try this. Mmm, fresh strawberry. Yum. Ah, saved. Now try the custard. Mmm. Mmm. It's delicious looking. Oh my goodness, that's so good. And now we're gonna, we have to try the chocolate. Okay. Gary's getting some strawberry. Now hold the strawberry carefully and get the chocolate. Do we know how to do this or what? Yum. I love how everyone's dressed here. Isn't this incredible? Mm -hmm. Now we're in a covered market, and this just reminds me of Fremont Street in Las Vegas because it's sunny out, but we can enjoy the shade while we're shopping. Let's keep on exploring. Now that's a tall order. The number one apple pie in the world. I'll be the judge of that. Absolutely. Let's go for it. Look at these. Look how beautiful they look. Yeah. All right, I'm game. 1,000, and then what else do we need? We need a one, two, three, and we need a 50. I know I've seen 50s. I know I've seen a 50. Where is that? Those well, are we'll tens. do 10, so I'll, I'll, I'll get them through 10s. Ten. One more. One more, and I will do it. There do it is. This. Here we go. Oh, you got three of them. Yeah, well, it's the best. Yum. Look at that. It's very carefully open. There we go. Ooh, look at that. Oh, are these all the same? They're all they the are... same. They're supposed to be the number one apple pie in the world. What do you think? It's pretty all good. Right. My turn. Oh my goodness, look at that. It looks so delicate and soft and... Oh, 
number one. Wow. Mmm. Is it good? That's so good. That is so good. Mm. This marketplace has everything from beautiful high-end jewelry, clothes, artwork, restaurants. There's just so much. Well, you've heard of cat cafes. This is a Shiba Inu cafe where you can actually go in and hang out with the dogs while you eat or have a coffee or something. Isn't that amazing? So, so much fun. fun. It's got a line, so I think we're going to have to keep on going, though. Well, let's see what we have in here. Look at the set. Nice sets of chopsticks. Mm -hmm. Those are quite lovely. Let's see what else. We have some mugs. That's wood. Look at the beautiful workmanship on that. It's a wood mug. Oh, look at these boxes. All items are here are handmade, made nowhere else. Oh, that's very cool. Those are amazing. Look at Mount Fuji on that. I know. That is beautiful. How much did we determine that um, 6,000? Six, 6,000, six by my estimate, would be around $40, I want to say. Oh, my goodness. They are pretty, though. Let's see what else we have here. These are 49. Look at that. It's really pretty. Pretty little birds. Let's see. Oh, are these little boxes too? Oh, those are lovely. And they're all handmade. Look at those up there. It's amazing. The workmanship that goes into these. Mm -hmm. Look, here's an example of how the artist carves them. So pretty. It's fantastic work. Mm -hmm. Look at these little hand mirrors. The larger mirrors also. It says on the sign over here that it's the same material used in making kimonos. Oh, okay. Look at these gorgeous sets of handmade chopsticks. They're just exquisite. Look at the wood and the colors. They are absolutely beautiful. Let's get them. And look how lovely it's all wrapped for us to take home. Okay, so now we have some tempura prawn. Unsheath thy prawn. Oh, there it is. Mmm. Mmm. Oh yeah. Tempura prawn. On guard. Boom, boom, boom. Now we're in a beautiful little Japanese shop, and I have found these exquisite little, they're kimono accessories, but they could be worn just by themselves. Are they gorgeous or what? They're so fun. They're the origami cranes. They're so beautiful. Made in Japan. What gorgeous earrings. And look, I saw this down here. Look at that hair clip. Isn't that something? Mm. Look at that. So beautiful. Really nice. And this one over here I like too. That one is exquisite. Look at the workmanship on that. Absolutely. We are definitely going to get these. And look, I found one more. Look at those colors. I love these. They're so gorgeous. And I'm so excited. What did you find, Will? They've got a whole Toho section here. And one of the things that I really wanted to take back with me from this trip was a Godzilla shirt. I love it. I've got a Godzilla shirt now. Oh, I love it. <laughs> I love how prevalent that wave painting is. It's truly one of the iconic works of art of Japan, and you see that it follows through in so many different pieces that we've found. Exactly. We got teapots, and oh, look at these. These are so funny. They're lunch boxes. Imagine you could put a little bento in there. We've been very selective, though, in our ceramics. We went for only the finest. Of course. And I, the chopsticks that I chose to bring to Picaro.com were actually handmade sets of them. Mm -hmm. These are beautiful, but they are production made. I chose the handmade ones for you guys. So I, I hope you love them. Now we are in an incredible Japanese-specific 
jewelry store. And I want to point out these incredible, and I'm using that word a lot because they are incredible, these bracelets. These are made with wood from indigenous trees that grow on the Yaku Islands. The tree grows for over 1,000 years and it absorbs the power of nature during that long period of time. The beautiful grain, the distinct aroma, and the powerful purification and sterilizing powder power. Um, the Yakushuki is said to have powers to balance the mind and body. They are authorized to cut these trees and uh, to make this material. So this is absolutely incredible what this represents here. Okay, so I have chosen this bracelet for Picaro.com. It's got the green of the forest and those exquisite wood beads from these in thousand year old trees. I think that just shows everything. It's got the green of the forest, the blue of the sky, the clear of the water, and these beautiful beads. Now down here also, Will, look what else I found. Look at this. That's natural agate, and it looks like a wave. Oh my God, doesn't that? It like, it's like the water around Japan. So we absolutely are going to get this one too. So beautiful. That's lovely. All right, shall we move on? Let's do it. I thought this was really special. When you purchase jewelry here, they bless it with a special bell. Isn't that lovely? This store is very interesting. Look at these. I've seen these this right. whole week that we've been here. So these are little bowls and they're made of tin. Uh -huh. And when you flip them over, it's Mount Fuji. Oh, I love that. Isn't that amazing? That is. Very, very... You imagine putting a little miso soup in there. And you have little chopstick rests. Oh, those are so great. Look those... at the sumo fighters. That's right. Let's keep going. Mm -hmm. Look at the bamboo vase. Wow. Those are cool. Very cool. And I love how some of them are just tin and others have like a gold inlaid on them. I know. Look at very all cool. the different toppers for the cup. Hmm. We've got the wolf, the lamb, the monkey, all different ones. And just some more cups. All Japanese tin. And look at this vase. Mm -hmm. It's heavy. And what do we have here? Chopstick rests. It's great fun. It always is so interesting exploring other cultures and you see what they have for their art and their wares. And look at this, the Imperial Dragon. Oh my goodness. He's That's quite epic. 165,000 yen. He's and it beautiful. tells you all about the casting. Yeah, that's Their so cool. metal castings are handcrafted one by one by craftsmen. You can feel the warmth that only handmade work can provide. And boy, don't I agree with that. As you guys know, I'm always looking for handmade pottery and other beautiful works of art. Oh, look at the fish. The shop chopstick rests. Fortune fish. Those are wonderful. Mm -hmm. I've got a set of two. Now these are brass. This one has a silver overlay. It's very heavy. I love the way they're presented with the bottom up light box too. And so simple. They look almost like they're out of 2001 A Space Odyssey. They really do. Look at these. That's called a cocoon. The cocoon. Look how Japanese that is with a uh, artichoke, dried artichoke in there. And look at that one. Oh wow. That's amazing. That's really beautiful. The market is at the base of the Tokyo Sky Tree, which is actually the third largest tower in the world. Now we're heading to the other side of that neighborhood to actually check out a thrift store. Okay, so now we are at a place called Second Street Reuse Store. This is kind of Japan's equivalent to Goodwill. So we're gonna go in and we're gonna check out our first thrift store in Japan. Wow, I see a lot of clothes. I see some purses over there. Yeah. You so see it looks Second like you can, Street. Looks like you can buy and resell here. Okay. I see. It's it's much fancier. Let's look at these purses real quick. In other words, everything is very beautifully laid out. What is this little piece here? That's so cute. With the space shuttle on it. I know. Pearly gates. Little purse. Look at this little purse. That's a pretty one. Mm-hmm. Each one. And that is 
3,900 yen. Oh, I love that color. Look at that blue. And look at this little piece. That is so sweet. And that's 3,900 also. That is a sweet little piece. Okay, let's look at this jewelry in here. Look at the rings and how nicely everything is displayed. Very pretty. The thing is that these prices are not necessarily conducive to reselling. So I think when they do second market here, it's a different kind of second market. It's the items I think are very, very lightly used, if you will. And uh, let's look at this. See, they have wallets and these prices are, we've got like a Prada little pack, little, um, like change purse, I guess. Now that's about forty dollars for Prada. If you if that's authentic, that's actually not a horrible price. No, not at all. But the thing is, it's see how worn it is up in the corner. That's true. So that's what they're doing here. I kind of get the gist of it now. We have some Miu Miu. Oh. Down there. They've got a case over there with Christian Dior and Louis Vuitton. Should we look at that? Oh yes, please. Obviously, this is the luxury case here. Oh yes. Well. Christian Dior is 209,000 yen, which is about... $1,500, give or yeah, take? something like that, pretty much. Look at the Prada. Ooh, oh, that's beautiful. That's a pretty Prada. Very nice. That's a nice looking Prada right there, too. It's a case of Prada. Mm, look at Christian Dior up here. Mm -hmm. There's some uh, Vuitton over here coming up. Yeah, where do you see that? A whole case of Vuitton. Ooh. I 44,000. Don't, don't think that's real. Yeah, I don't think so either. I don't think it could be. And then we down have here. Vintage Gucci, some Vuitton down there. And here's more Vuitton. I, I think maybe it's that price on that one, for instance, because it's so worn. Mm hmm. You know. Look at this piece here. That's a nice looking piece. I think that's real. I, I'm not touching it, so I can't absolutely know, but that looks, that looks real. Okay, so let's see what else they have. Coaches. Coaches and look what I spotted. This is the little Francis Winter. Look at this adorable little crossbody. Look how long that chain is. Beautifully done, nice and heavy. It's in pristine condition. There's the little label, Francis, say, say Francis, Francis Winter. Winter. Beautiful condition. Mm -hmm. We are absolutely going to pick this up. That's a great little purse for spring. Just big enough for your cell phone and a credit card. Aww. What else does a girl need? Huh, look at this. We come all the way to Tokyo to find Elvis, the king of Las Vegas. Now, this is actually a really cool four-piece Zippo lighter set. They're asking 207, excuse me, 27,900 yen, which would translate to probably about $175, which is exactly what they sell for. These are a highly collectible set, and if I were to find these in Las Vegas for, say, 20 or $30, you know I'd pick them up in a heartbeat. Elvis was actually planning a stadium concert to Tokyo uh, in the 1970s, but that got canceled and he ended up doing the famous Aloha from Hawaii via satellite concert. So Elvis almost made it to Japan, but he is still very popular here to this day. We came over here to this little jewelry section and I see these, these are beautiful. They are clip-ons, but how appropriate from Japan with the little faux pearl. I just think they're absolutely beautiful. Stunning earrings. So we're gonna pick these up. You got those, and then I found these wonderful Minnie Mouse earrings for 300 yen. We're going to Tokyo Disney now. I think these would be absolutely perfect for the Picker Road Boutique at Antique Alley. I have a lot of Disney stuff there. Those are fantastic, William. They're adorable. I also found these incredible, this incredible coral necklace. Look at the color on that. And it is marked silver on the clasp. It just says silver, but it's absolutely beautiful. What a good representation of something from Japan. We have so much more to share with you from Tokyo. We've got thrifting, we've got pottery, and we visit a 450 year old paper shop. Plus, we go to Tokyo Disney, but you're going to have to wait for the next video to see all of that. 
in the meantime, let's recap today's finds. Thank you so much for joining us on the first part of our incredible Japanese adventure. We can't wait to share the rest of this tour with you. So please like, subscribe, ring the bell, and leave a comment. We read them all because we want you to join the journey.